Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Miranda Holder and I'm a celebrity stylist and your feel good fashion coach. And today we are going to be chatting all things summer fabrics to keep you cool in easy breezy summer style. However, I would say beware of how you are wearing it. If it's super hot, I would not wear silk close to your armpits. Before we jump in, I just want to say thank you so much for all of your lovely comments, your likes. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed already. Please do keep it up. Everyone that engages just really helps me to make more content like this and bring it to you. Um, and there's loads up my sleeve, so please stay tuned. So we're currently having a heat wave in the UK and we're definitely not built for it. And I'm having a lot of clients uh, phone me up or email me and ask for some advice on what to wear to A, stay stylish, but actually right now the most important thing is comfort. So I've been giving a lot of advice on textiles and I thought I'd make a little video to explain this information to you. So without further ado, here is my list of the best summer fabrics to wear to survive the summer heat. So number one has got to be cotton. Cotton is readily available. Please always try to buy organic or vintage if you can. It's far better for the environment, uh, but it's a great fabric to wear in the summer heat because it absorbs any sweat from the body which allows your body to cool itself naturally and easily. It's very breathable and it's very versatile. So we've got a crinkled recycled cotton dress here. That's really lovely. A fresh cotton shirt is great. It's lovely in trousers. My favorite cotton fabric apart from everything else though is actually this cotton poplin and I'm wearing this right now. It's my favorite summer fabric because it has a much finer weave it's smoother to the touch and cooler to the touch so it keeps you cooler all day and also looks more polished than some other cotton counterparts so I'm sure you won't be surprised to learn that my next recommendation for a top summer fabric is linen beautiful linen it has a much looser weave than cotton so it's naturally very very breathable it drapes beautifully and it only improves with age so the more you wear it the softer it gets yes it gets crumpled um, but in some people love that and some people hate that i would say be careful about linen trousers, um, particularly white ones, because they can often have, you can get crumple lines sort of across the crotch area, which if you're a little bit wide of hip anyway, might not be flattering. That's the only sort of watch out I would say, but generally it's a great option for summer and you just have to embrace that crumpled chic look and go with it. I love it in oversized shirts. I love it in blazers, um, probably, um, something to wear on your top half is my favorite way of wearing linen um, and if you've ever treated yourself to linen sheets they are quite the treat indeed so highly recommend so you may be tempted to wear denim in the summertime denim shorts are a bit of a classic however it's not really very breathable because denim has a really really tight weave um, so if you're wearing shorts you're basically going to end up with a soggy bottom before too long and you're going to be uncomfortable plus if it gets too wet with sweat it's going to get really heavy and soggy and just not very nice but a lighter alternative that's brilliant is chambray and you can it looks like denim uh, but it's softer it's a looser and finer weave so therefore it is more breathable uh, and this can look really nice layered I love a chambray shirt I particularly love chambray trousers shorts culottes anything for the bottom half and also a classic chambray shirt is lovely and you can wear that open as a third piece instead of a uh, jacket or a blazer to bring the whole outfit together if you need to feel a little bit smarter but stay cool the next fabric is micro modal. This has a rayon base and then added hardwood fibers, but it makes it a very soft, 
very comfortable, beautifully drapey and breathable fabric that is usually very easy to care for as well. They make a lot of underwear in modal, um, but it's a great fabric for summer because it will help to keep you comfortable. It will help to wick the moisture away from the skin, but it will also absorb it. So when you're looking at summer fabrics, you actually want to go for a fabric that will absorb the sweat rather than just mirror it back to you. Otherwise, before long, you're going to be sitting in a little bit of a sauna and that's not very nice. So my next fabric will probably surprise you. Yes, she's holding up a sweater. Um, this is merino wool. And okay, you're not going to wear it if it's 40 degrees outside like it is today. But if it is warm and the temperature is changing a lot, so maybe you need something to wear all day and it's gonna be chilly in the evening, for example, merino is a brilliant choice because it actually regulates your body temperature. So it's really good at keeping you on an even keel all day long. It also absorbs body odor, which is definitely an added bonus. So if you're gonna to have to wear something for a very long time and you might get a little bit stinky, uh, merino wool might just be your best friend. And finally, there is silk. Silk is a beautiful fabric, of course. It has a gorgeous sheen. It flows and hangs and flutters beautifully. Um, and it is breathable, so it is a good option for summer. However, I would say beware of how you are wearing it. If it's super hot, I would not wear silk close to your armpits because silk is not as absorbent as cotton or linen or some of the other fabrics I've spoken about today. So it's gonna show those sweat patches really, really easily, which is very unsightly. And it can also stain more easily as well. So just be careful with silk. It is a beautiful light summer fabric, but if you're going to be somewhere really, really hot and sweaty, it's probably not your best option. So in terms of fabric to avoid, I think it pretty much goes without saying that the, the synthetic fabrics should be avoided as much as possible. So we're talking polyester, acrylic, nylon. You're just going to literally be sitting in a pool of your own sweat. It's gonna be really, really uncomfortable. And also the fabrics can get very hot themselves, which will just add to your discomfort. So please steer away from them. Avoid denim as well. We've chatted about how soggy it can get and it's not at all breathable. It will make you hot, even though it's a classic. Fleece, I think is a no brainer, definitely designed to warm you up and keep you there. So please avoid at all costs during the summer. And then finally, leather, I would recommend only for accessories and shoes, if you're not vegan, of course. And then if you do choose it, uh, if you can select something that's sustainable or vintage, it's even better for the environment. Okay, so that's it for today. I hope this helps you stay cool, calm, stylish and comfortable this summer. I'll be back very soon with lots more fashion and beauty content. Please don't forget to turn on that notifications bell so you never miss another episode and I will see you very soon.